Today we're going to talk about a very important topic that is relevant to both positive parenting and Montessori education, the role of patience. As parents, it's easy to get frustrated with our children's behavior or lack of progress in learning new skills. But in today's video, we're going to explore how patience can help us be more effective. First, let's talk about the role of patience in positive parenting. Positive parenting is all about fostering a healthy relationship between parent and child where the focus is on guiding and supporting the child's development rather than just correcting their behavior. And one of the key to positive parenting is having patience. By being patient, we can communicate with our child in a calm and respectful manner, giving them the space they need to express themselves and learn at their own pace. This helps to build a positive relationship with our child, which will also make it easier for us to guide them as they grow and develop. Now let's talk about the role of patience in Montessori education. Montessori is an approach to education that emphasizes child-led learning and encourages independence and self-discovery. And patience is essential to the Montessori philosophy. In a Montessori classroom, the teacher observes and waits for the child to initiate an activity or ask for assistance. This encourages the child to take ownership of their learning and to develop problem-solving skills, as they are given the time and space to explore and experiment at their own pace. So how can we practice patience in our daily interactions with our children? Here are some tips. First, take a deep breath and count to 10 before responding to our child's behavior. This can help to remain calm and avoid reacting to a way that might escalate the situation. Those 10 seconds might seem long, but it's always better to respond with a calm mind rather than impulse rage and react in a way that we might regret later or even cause the behavior to continue or worsen. Second, try to see things from your child's perspective. By understanding their needs and feelings, you can respond in a more empathetic and supportive way. They're young and their minds aren't fully developed, so naturally their understanding of the situation is going to be limited. Step back and view the situation from their point of view. Well, step back mentally, not physically, unless the situation calls for it. Third, set realistic expectations for your child's behavior and learning. Remember that each child is unique and learns at their own pace. As parents, we sometimes have the tendency to compare our child's progress to other children or to our own expectations, which can lead to frustration and impatience. In Montessori philosophy, the emphasis is placed on allowing the children to learn and develop at their own pace. By setting realistic expectations, we can avoid putting unnecessary pressure on our children, which can hinder their progress and self-esteem. And finally, practice self-care. As a parent, it can be easy to focus entirely on your child and their needs, neglecting your own well-being in the progress. When you're stressed, anxious, or overwhelmed, it can be challenging to be patient and present with your child. On the other hand, when you're well-rested, energized, and in a good mood, it's much easier to be patient and present with your child. Practicing self-care doesn't have to be time-consuming or expensive. It can be as simple as taking a few minutes each day to do something you enjoy, such as reading a book or taking a walk. It can also mean asking for help when you need it, whether from a partner, family member, or friends. Sometimes even just taking a few deep breaths or practicing mindfulness for a few minutes can make a significant difference in how you feel. Remember that taking care of yourself isn't selfish, it's necessary. When you prioritize your own well-being, you're better able to show up as the patient, loving parent your child needs. And by modeling healthy self-care habits, you're also teaching your child the importance of taking care of themselves. Patience is a crucial component of both positive parenting and Montessori education. By practicing patience, we can build a strong and positive relationship with our child, help them to develop important skills and knowledge, and create a nurturing environment where they can thrive. If you found this information helpful, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one.